Hi everyone, I'm Rosie and welcome to Vox Yoga. Today we just have a short video all about OM. So I'll go a little bit into the background, how it could actually be really beneficial to add to your yoga or meditation practice, and then also how to approach the actual sound. And then I'll guide you through a really short practice. Maybe you feel a little bit like I used to about OM. I'd feel kind of self-conscious and like I didn't want to make this sound when I was in a group class. But one day I was feeling brave and I thought, you know what, I'm gonna join in with the OM today. Everyone has their eyes shut anyway. And honestly, doing that one OM at the end of the class just made me really feel like I'd rounded off my practice. And now I've done a little bit more research into why OM is great. I love a good OM. So do this video with me um, and maybe try and add some OM to your practice. Yoga is all about union and linguistically the word OM comes from all. So OM is said to encompass the whole universe, which is pretty powerful. And it really is the original and most widely used mantra or chant. So why might it be beneficial to use in your practice? So humming is actually one of the best ways to stimulate your vagus nerve. If you stimulate this, this will kick in your parasympathetic nervous system, which is your rest and digest. And that's gonna help you feel a lot more calm and more relaxed. So basically singing does chill you out, which is great news. <laughs> Humming is also really good to help to feel the resonance and feel the vibrations through your body. So whether you are a singer, a voice user, or just a yogi, doing a good OM can make you feel really great. I've got some science for you here as well now, and a quote which I will read rather than remember, and I'll reference you at the bottom of the video. Contemporary medical research has shown that chanting and other forms of vocalization actually oxygenate the cells, lower blood pressure and heart rate, increase lymphatic circulation, increase levels of melatonin, reduce stress-related hormones, release endorphins, which are the body's natural painkillers. Vocal sound is proving itself to be a vibrant healing energy. So I think that's telling us that we should all sing more often. So now let's come to OM itself. Although it is really one syllable, it's actually comprised of three sounds. And it's really good to start to break down these sounds to get the most out of this resonant hum at the end. So I'm gonna guide you through a short practice to build up our OM so that you can then start to use it in your yoga practice, maybe just when you wake up in the morning or whenever you just feel like having a little relax. So first things first, make sure that you are comfortable, whether that's standing, sitting in a chair, sat on the floor, just make sure your spine's nice and lengthened. You might want to lie down even. It's wherever you feel you can just switch off and connect to your breath and sound the best. I really encourage you to shut your eyes through this as well. And it'll just be a few minutes to really build up the sound and tune into the sensations and how it makes you feel. Where do you feel the vibrations? And how does it change your mood when you do these sounds? So make sure you are in a comfortable position and do go ahead and close the eyes. Wherever you are, it can be nice to place one hand on the chest and the other on the belly. So you can feel some resonance throughout the body and also feel what the breath is doing too. Just start to check in with your breath. Again, be aware of any sensations in the body. We'll be doing our vocalizing on a low, comfortable pitch. Feel free to join mine or do your own pitch that feels good and comfortable to you. So the first syllable of our OM is an ah. So when you're ready, take a deep inhale. Ah. And breathe normally in between. 
between each of these sounds. Our next sound, which we'll add on, is oo. So we'll join this to our a, uh, but we'll do this by keeping the open space of our first a uh, vowel, and then we'll just bring the lips forward. With me, inhale. We have one more sound and that is our mmm. Again, we'll start with our open ah. Bring the lips forward to ooh, and then just closing the lips mm, to become a hum with me. Inhale. about the sensations and how that felt throughout the body. By building up the sound in this way, we then get the most resonance as possible on our hum, as we've created the space in the mouth, first of all. We'll do one more. Maybe try this slightly higher pitch, slightly lower pitch. Join me or choose your own. So three sounds coming together to make this one om. Inhale. Om. I encourage you to spend a bit more time exploring this sound. It's really nice to do at the start of a yoga practice by actually having this longer sound. It slows our exhale and also helps to uh, slow the heart rate and get us into the mindset of our practice. It's also really nice to finish our yoga practice with an om, traditionally three oms, as it really does help to kind of seal the practice and leave you going out into the world, having done your yoga, feeling a bit more rested. You could also just try this throughout the day, just taking five minutes to yourself to reset and reconnect. It really is a lovely sound and it does just help to make you feel connected and make you feel good so if you're a little bit hesitant about trying OM, just give it a go and see how it feels. Thank you for joining me today. For more videos, hit subscribe and I hope to see you soon.